While every musician ends up unique in their own way, the Romantic School of Music believes that everyone should have the finest information from the very beginning, including the secrets of the masters. This approach assures that the student will never have to unlearn bad habits because they didn't know, or feel that they have lost precious time if they later decide to become a virtuoso. With this in mind, whether this is the first time you have ever placed a violin under your chin, or you've been a professional musician your entire life, let's begin together with Lesson 1. Holding the violin. The violin is placed on the left shoulder, under the chin, tilted slightly forward, with the top surface of the strings level with the floor. The challenge is how to do all of this securely and comfortably, so both hands are free to practice and perform at the highest level. Almost everyone has seen the frustrated student or tired old fiddler looking something like this. Playing the violin does take practice but there's no reason to make it more difficult than it has to be. And the properly fitted chin rest and shoulder rest can make all the difference in the world. I know one of my most respected teachers insisted that nothing should ever come between me and my master violin, that we should be one. So I pulled off its chin rest and played that way for the next few months. The thing is, if you have a stubby neck, a large double chin, and an instrument that loves to be squeezed, his approach can work. Yet for the rest of us, it's like dancing the tango without any clothes on. It might seem romantic when you first think about it, Yet, the performance will always be better for everyone if everything is held properly in its place. At the same time, a shoulder rest and chin rest should never restrict or hinder your movements. The secret is, if they are fitted properly, they will set you free. If you have a sensitive chin, take the time to try a few different styles of chin rests. There are many available at fine music stores, if you ask for them. Or, in rare cases, you may have to have one modified or completely carved to achieve that coveted, perfect fit. Comfort breeds confidence, and the right chin rest makes playing easier from day one and allows you to focus on what's really important, like a natural V-shape formed between the thumb and fingers and a relaxed, straight wrist. Most professionals choose a Guaneri style chin rest because the clamps are supported by the end block inside the instrument. This can also free up the back of a fine violin where those wonderful deep tones are produced. Even with a perfect fit, some musicians will use a cloth, a pad, or, sorry ladies, even grow a beard to help cushion the chin rest and to keep from sliding around when they perspire. But don't forget to keep everything clean. Once a violinist gets a rash under their chin, it's tough to get rid of, especially when playing every day. Shoulder rests come in different heights, but better yet, use a rest that can adjust to the length and angle of your neck. 
I use a Kuhn Bravo because of its strength and the freedom to reposition the instrument on my shoulder. It may seem simple, but don't underestimate the value of this information. Many professional musicians are amazed at how much better their violin sounds when they and their instrument are completely free to move and perform as they should. Everyone gets nervous, even the masters. And it is possible to practice at the highest level, then crash and burn on the concert stage. The saddest part is, this disaster is usually avoidable if you make sure that your scroll does not raise or lower when you apply more or less pressure with your chin. That way, if you do tighten up, instead of bouncing your bow around or having to contort yourself because the strings aren't level, you can continue playing until you finally do relax, then finish your performance in style. Some of the early masters sewed pads into the shoulders of their suits or dresses to accomplish this. But the easiest answer and usually the best answer is to adjust the angle and position of the shoulder rest until the scroll remains perfectly level regardless of the amount of pressure applied by the chin. If your current setup doesn't accomplish this, don't be surprised. It usually takes experimenting a few times with this goal clearly in mind to get it right. But when you do get it right, your violin will become more stable and your bowing more smooth and even than otherwise possible. Everyone is unique and what works for one may not work for another. But the goal is still the same. Stand up straight, usually with a little more weight on the left foot to help free up your bowing arm. Place the violin on your left shoulder, under your chin, with the body of the instrument tilted to the right and the top surface of the strings level with the floor and relax. <laughs>